um, this is a quick live stream, I guess. And I just need to get something before I vent. Um, I have my Miami Hurricanes versus Boston College video dropping. It should be dropping in an hour or so. It should be up no later than 11. But I just need to get this off my chest, man. I don't understand why people are always coming for athletes or young college kids for letting for them being them. Um, Nikosi Perry is getting a whole bunch of criticism for flashing reportedly five thousand dollars, dude. He's a freaking college kid and he's freaking like nineteen years old. We young kids, we flex money. That's what we do. I don't know what, I don't see anything wrong with that. He didn't get the money from any NCAA allegations or all that crap. Let this man be him, man. Who who cares? Let this man be him. This man is still in college, man. He's still a kid, man. I can relate because I'm three years younger than, I, how old is he? Yeah, I'm three years younger than he is. He's like 19. I'm 16. Us young kids near this age or near his age or my age, we like the flex money. It's nothing wrong with that. Why can't people let him be him? Why does every, I understand he's the quarterback. Everything he does is magnified. But damn, my, my guy can't even take a video of him flexing money? Like, what's up with that, man? What's up with that? What's up with that? It's nothing wrong with him taking a picture or having a video with money. I don't see why everybody's making this such a big deal. And now people talking about something. Mark Ritt made the right choice and starting Malik Roser. No, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Flexing money has nothing to do with making anybody play. Don't you see that as dangerous? Seeing what happened to XX to Tashawn. But look, he was with his boys. Wasn't nothing going to happen to him? XX to Tashawn was by himself, though. He was by himself. Why can't nobody let Nikosi Perry be him? He's a young kid. Let this man have fun. Let this man live his life, man. I understand he's a quarterback, but it's no reason why people keep on saying Mark Ritt made a good move benching him for Malik Roser. No, he didn't. It's still a terrible move. What does Flex and Money have anything to do with anything on the field? Nothing. We need Nikosi Perry starting right now, and he's not starting, and it's stupid. It's stupid. I'm not about to rant because I already don't rant on the rant about why Malik Roser shouldn't be starting. But they knew he was carrying around a lot of money. People will probably know this, man, but he was with friends. I'm pretty sure he doesn't carry around that much money all the time. All the time. All the time. He couldn't be. Listen, people need to realize that people could, anybody could come up and rob you anytime, in a place, any place, whether you got money or you don't got money. Things happen. He's a young kid. Let this man live, man. Everybody, everything he does is magnified. Everything. Friends can set you up. But Nikosi Perry has better judgment than that. And we have to believe that he has better judgment because we need him on the field. Because God knows we cannot let Malik Roser keep let it keep starting and playing like how he's playing. Like crap. We need to let this man live and stop breathing down his neck. Everything he does from live streaming to parties on his Instagram live to flexing the money. We need to let this man live. Flexing money is nothing new. Flexing money is nothing new. It's a South Florida thing. Us South Florida boys, we like to flex with our money. It's just a thing. It's just a thing. How do we know that money was actually real or not? It could have been prop money.
It could have been prop money. The thing of the matter is, he still should be starting, despite of him flexing money. I don't know what flexing money has anything to do with him not starting. I know mature people, mature people that flex with money. Come on. I know people that flex with money with 4.0 GPAs. 4.0 GPAs. I understand he's the quarterback of the team. And since he's a quarterback, everything he does is magnified. But come on, the dude can't post no videos of him having fun at a party. He can't post pictures of him having money. Come on. Can the guy can the guy live his life and enjoy college? Enjoy college? Why does everything have to be so strict and serious? Let this man, if it, he didn't break any rules this time, no team rules, no nothing. He was just flexing money. And it was probably his or his his parents. It wasn't illegally given to him. He's the leader of the team. He has to do better. Though, but as a leader, you should want to be yourself. Nobody wants to look up to a fake person who who isn't themselves. That's what that's why people on the team like Nikosi so much. He's himself. The whole team loves him. He is a leader. When you look at when you look at how the offense plays and how the wide receivers respond to Nikosi Perry playing versus Malik Roser, look at the body language of them and tell me that the wide receivers don't play better when Nikosi playing is playing in the game. These wide receivers go all out for Nikosi. I'm not saying they don't do the same for Malik Roser, but the body language looks completely different from when Nikosi's on the field versus Malik Roser on the field. Yeah, but we don't need to know all of his business. Y'all be putting it to uh, someone called. I understand, but social media is a thing. It's a lot of athletes that flex for money. Can we let this man be him? He's still young. He he's gonna have he's gonna learn eventually. But for right now, there's no reason for him to be being attacked for something that he put on his social media. On his social media. I don't think it's a reason. I don't think him flexing money should justify the dumb decision that is Mark Rick starting Malik Roser over Nikosi Perry. Now, I agree with a lot of the things that people are saying. It might be a little immature, but it's a South Florida thing. Us young boys, we like to flex our money. We like to. I mean... I understand where people are coming from, a safety issue and all of that. But most of his friends are people on the football team. He doesn't really hang out with nobody else. He probably hangs out with Bob Pauley the most. But the thing about it is, Nikosi Perry is the leader of our team. I understand that. But at the end of the day, more people respect you for you being yourself than somebody that you're not. And Nikosi Perry is being himself. And a lot of people on the team, almost everybody, well, the whole team likes Nikosi Perry. The whole team likes Nikosi Perry. Not just because he's the quarterback, because he's a cool guy to hang out with. He's a cool guy. He shouldn't be going, he shouldn't be blasted for posting Instagram parties and stuff. Let this man, he's in college. He's enjoying the college life. Why does this dude have to be stuck in the box? Can we just let this guy enjoy college? And stop attacking him on social media. I don't even know why. Like, this has nothing to do with this topic. But a few weeks ago when he got benched, he turned off his comments. I don't know why he did that. Like, nobody was attacking him. We was all coming to say that Mark Rich, Mark Rick was crazy for benching him and putting in Malik Roser. That's all we wanted to say. But... I'm getting ready to end this live stream. I just want to get it off my chest. I just want to say, can we please just let Nikosi Perry live his life and enjoy college? Not every, just because you're the core. I understand you're the quarterback, but we are in college. People have lives that don't after football. And a lot of people, Mark Rick, a big decision why Mark Rick is deciding to go with Malik Roser, quote, quote, is because Nikosi Perry's prep preparation for games isn't up to the level that Mark Rick wants. But 
Mark Ritt doesn't have the typical quarterback. I think the, I think Mark Ritt just doesn't know how to handle this whole quarterback situation because I don't ever think he's been put in a quarterback situation. But we're not the only team in the country that's handling our quarterback situation completely wrong. We have teams like Georgia that refuse to – that refused to utilize Justin Fields. And for some reason, Kirby Smart keeps on going with Justin with Jake Fromm, despite even though Justin Fields not even starting him, but at least stop doing read option plays. Like let this man throw the ball so the defense can have something to fear. When Jake Fromm comes in, the defense, all they have to do is worry about stopping the pass. Jake Fromm really isn't going to kill you with his feet. He can, but not like how Justin Fields comes. When Justin Fields comes in, they treat him as a Wildcat quarterback. But if he can, but Kirby Smart allows him to throw the ball, that makes defenses be more fear because they don't know what's coming, either run or the pass. But I'm getting ready to end this stream. Um, my final thoughts is can we please let Nikosi Perry live his life and stop attacking him on social media? It's his social media. He can post whatever he wants to. I get that he's the quarterback and all, but dang, he's still in college. Can we let him enjoy his college life without attacking him and following his every move? If you guys don't like what he posts on social media, then don't follow him. But my my, but thanks for all the support for you guys watching. Um, I'm getting ready to hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm probably going to hit that in about three days. But thanks for watching. I'm going to have my Miami Hurricanes versus Boston College preview coming in about 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes. So make sure that you guys stay tuned for that. And that's all. So thanks for watching. Oh, also, I got.